Hi everyone, welcome to TOE channel. Today we're gonna continue with the day 9 of contingency contract in Arc Knights. Let's dive in. Okay, let's see what we have for today. Um, I think this is HP seal. Um, restriction, that's pretty normal. Oh, oh god, not attack range again. And is this the- yeah, this is the map where there are a lot of casters. Like, I, it's like casters plus more range just sounds disastrous. Oh, and he's gained 50% attack speed. Okay, um, I feel like I kinda get where this is heading. And I don't like it. Um, caster and defender of warriors cannot be deployed. This is not too bad. There were a couple defenders coming out, but I don't think it's something that's, um, that cannot be handled by magic damage guards and, of course, Silver Ash. Uh, natural- oh, 75%. Okay, here it comes again. This was so tough in this map last time, because there are dogs that start running right towards the goal, so it's like, you can't- I barely had enough time to prestige last time, so, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I would try to avoid this one if possible. 60% max HP- oh god, like, they're just making this- four operators? This is like all nightmares all together, like, oh my god, this sounds awful. Okay, so let's pick the easiest one. Um, HP seals, I think that's pretty simple. And probably want some three-pointer. Uh, four op- <laughs> I don't know how four operator works, like, seriously. Is, is that even possible? I don't know, it's like one healer, one defender, one sniper, and one guard. Like, what? I don't know, but 75% DP regeneration is also, um, not sound fun. But let's just take it for now. That means I need four more points. Uh, all in this game, HP. And Defender, like, without Saria. I don't know, Aya, it's like, like, caster-wise, I mean, it's only Aya, right? But I don't know, let's just increase their attack speed a little. Let's set that as eight points, and let's give it a try. The DP regeneration is gonna be pain in the ass. So, I think we'll just have to... Wait, did we beat this with... Yeah, I guess we beat this with four people limit. Wait, so maybe it's better to do <coughs> four operators. Kind of go with our previous tactic. I think this was it, right? The Avengers of the Arknights. Okay, let's let's go, let's go. The Avengers of Arknights. Let's see if they can pull it off again. Yeah, cause I guess the restriction really didn't change from last time, right? I mean, we have that, and then when we put Exile like right as soon as the dog approaches. Like, we were able to kill it by one hit. Yep. Like, how is it different from last time? <coughs> yep, and next shy third skill. 19, 20, 20, 21, and place Saria over here. And let it come in, and I'm just gonna We're heal using Zarya. And then I think we put Aya. 18, 17, 18, 19, Aya. And we start to do some serious damage this alley. And then Silver Ash right here. I think I could put it here, but it's gonna get sniped by... Um, Casters as they come in, so. Silver Ash. This definitely does more damage, but, uh. Yeah. This looks better, but I don't know if Silver Ash can hold against all the caster attacks. But let's just do it and see how this goes. <coughs> yeah, this is the Avengers formation from, um, two days ago. We'll see if they'll be able to. Defeat this Avengers formation this time around. Like, this is like so sturdy, you know? Like, of course, if there were one healer, that would have made it much better, but like, if you just pick four characters from entire pool, like, I can't imagine anything stronger than this. I guess AI, you can kind of swap it out for like more defense and stuff, but like, in terms of DPS, like a balance between DPS and kind of like this like I think this is pretty much it I mean let's speed up because like I have nothing to do other than clicking the true silver slash at the right moment going pretty much as expected yeah um, silver has pretty high HP so um, it's handling the caster wave pretty well and actually has third skills on so it's gonna bring hell to that caster. <coughs> We're halfway through. 
Oh, got that. Let's just kill that caster, please. Like, one HP. Okay. Some defenders are coming in, but... That might be a little annoying. Oh god, it, oh god, there's a lot of them. But let's try to see if we can hold. Oh, this is over! Like... Yeah, this is over. Okay, the Avengers of the Arknights did it again. I mean, I guess they're called Avengers for a reason, right? It's like exact same formula from two days ago. I feel just like ripping them off, but... Yeah, I mean, you're the, you, like, you guys are the one who limited it to four characters and had this strong, crazy hell, like, four characters out there, so uh, that's not on me. Let's see if that means I can get all the points for today. And damn it, of course not. There's this, I guess, they kind of figured out that people would go for the Avengers team, so I think they wanted to make you no caster or defender. Okay, so they want to take out two members of the Avengers. Kind of sounds like a civil war. But, I guess if that's what they're requiring, let it be. Uh, I guess in that case, I'll just go with the reduced attack range, because I think either of them will be pretty tough. So now, no defenders or casters. Let's see, how does- how would that- oh wow. Yeah, the Avengers are gone. Um, Siege, I'll bring Swartz. Okay, so here we go. Second try, now with uh, caster and defender restriction. I think we should take the same approach, right? When we had the caster range plus hundred, like where we kind of turtled in at the beyond, at the back. I think I'll do the same. It's like advancing it over here. It's gonna be tough because of the increased attack and range. <clears throat> Let's start with siege and put Mordor right there to just get points. I'm kind of surprised Mortal can attack from there. Use that. And... If possible, I wanna... Like, try to not put XGI here, because you just get slammed so much. Uh, Probably, I think over here makes sense. I mean, it's not gonna really help from getting slammed on, but... Since we're kind of putting a defense line a little bit above, I think that makes more sense. And we can probably... I think Plopsa should go first. Uh, this is kind of waste Plopsa's range, but so be it. Um, Silver Ash, where? I think this is probably Dope. the best. Okay, we got the caster. So far, not too bad. And... I guess Siege is kinda now a waste, right? <laughs> Maybe... Left planned over here. And Angelina. And I guess I can retreat her. The healer. I think this is pretty much it. And once Myrtle kind of gets um, the DPs out, I'll take out uh, Myrtle. <clears throat> I just realized that Myrtle has a apple, <laughs> and she's right next to apple pie. That's funny. We are still 25 out of 75. Long way to go. Yeah, this was a bit of a waste. I think I should have put Plopsis facing this direction. So when I trigger her skill, it extends as far as uh, Blue Poison and Angelina. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was a little bit um, short-sighted, but... 
I guess that's pretty much all the points we're gonna get. So I'll take Myrtle out. <coughs> and I'll just have one area available for... I guess we could put like a Chen over here or something. We are about halfway through. Let's use this defense. Oh god, they're getting pretty heavily pounded. Yeah, I really wish um, I had put Flopsis on different direction. That hurts. That hurts so much! I think this is the final rush, right? Is there one more? Yeah, there's one more caster. Let's just start using this and turn on boxes. And I'm just gonna take time out of that caster with Chen. So I can kind of like time delay the caster from attacking my team. Oh wow, Chen like basically 1v1 did. Damn. Okay, so there was a second try with the restriction limiting defender and healer. So that should give me the last points for the day. Alright, and I guess it's about time to try the long term mission too, so I'll be back to tab tomorrow with the day 10 of contingency contract and I think we should it's about time to tackle the area 59 as well. Mm -hmm.